Level zero is the first level you encounter in the basement. Once you make that mistake where you are being curious and on level 26 and walking down those stairs, you'll end up here. But anyway, level zero of the basement is an infinite basement that uh, is actually pretty safe. There's no known entities on here. Some of the rooms even are furnished with like living room furniture or even some kitchens so you won't starve on here like one on level zero in the original one and also you can meet up with wanderers on this level so that's all we know about this level anyways next one level one is similar to level zero it's another basement that's infinite in size but you can also find more resources and you may encounter some entities here but you can also find the other wanderers that wander around the portal. You, sometimes you can get separated from your group, but you can meet back up with them um, somewhere in the level. But that's all for this level. Let's move on to level two. Level two is a infinite garage, even though the photo is from outside. Once you actually get inside of the uh, garage, you realize it's an, it's an infinitely it's infinite in length, but there's no uh, there's no uh, really explanation why it looks small on the outside, but it it looks bigger on the inside. So you better uh, better get ready because this level is a bit harder than the first one. You'll, you'll find another, you'll find so, you'll find um, Smilers and how it's on in the garage, but the outside is pretty safe. Level 3 is a hallway. The hallway that is infinite in length and it appears to be an old school residential house. And this is the, again a lot more dangerous and you have to come to the I'm a bit too prepared because you'll have to deal with insanities or wretches, clumps, and skin stealers. And you um, better come prepared, like I said. Level 4 is probably your safe, probably one of the safest places that you have in this entire basement place. It is in, uh, it's presumed to be an infinite sized hotel complex, but it's not confirmed though, because no one has gone to the top level yet. But you can claim residency just like the original, just like level 5, Terra Hotel. And don't worry, you don't have to face off against a, an evil entity here, because you, the, the entities are pretty nice here. And you can again claim residency. So let's, I guess, continue with this, shall we? So you made it to the fifth level here, but the please don't, please don't think this is a safe place. Level five is similar to level three, but the instead of it being an, an old style like. House, it's an abandoned, oh, uh, infinite hallway of an abandoned building. And all, and each door, I forgot to mention this on level three, but each door would not lead to any other room. It would lead to different levels. And you may be lucky to find a door and open it, but please, but God save you. Level six is is an infinite in size collection of red rooms. And the closer you get to the middle of this level, the more dangerous the level will become. And the, wall, the more blood, bloody colored the wall. Mm -hmm. And this level is infested with entities like Smilers, Skin Stealers, Hounds, and all the main ones. And if you came here from level 5, God save you, because you're. Because the only way the exit, the only two ways the exit is find either no clipping through the windows or getting to the middle of the level and surviving. 
After going through a lot of empty, blood red rooms, you may think that this is just a walk of surprise. And it is. Level 7 of the base room is on this infinite flower field that goes on for an infinite amount. And it is a pretty welcome sight. And there even is occasional sheds that you can be entered and they have some supplies. Some pretty epic surprises. And the only way from exiting this level is by no clipping through a flower patch. And you can end up on any level of the base rooms. So we're back into the basement levels. But if you may think this is another welcome sight, you're dead wrong. Level 8 is what people think is a trap that would, that would make people think that this basement level is safe, but it's not. But because there's you gotta keep watch for in any in entities on this level because they're really violent. But it is um, but it has some useful supplies on this level. But you're if you fend off all the entities, you'll be pretty safe here. Level nine is an infinite selection of living rooms, but don't be fooled by. You, you think in this level's pretty dangerous. It's truly not. There are, you can encounter some facelings that live on the level, and they're also friendly too. And what's surprising is that the child facelings are also pretty friendly. But don't get your hopes all the way up this level because it's short. It's a short. Um, it's short lived before you get clipped to the next the next level, which would happen at random. Level 10 is not is not known by us because we haven't explored the level yet and we don't know if this level is safe or not. But but we what we do know is that the wanderer who discovered this level sent a photo to Meg sent this photo to Meg. And but he did clip back into he got back but he was not like sent back to um level zero of the original backrooms. And no one really knows, like, he refused to answer any of the questions about this level. So this level may be a bit dangerous if he's not going to say anything.